Hi everyone, today let us learn about the types of rocks. The earth has a three layers, crust, mantle and the core. These are the hard layer of the rock. But in some places the rocks melts and become a liquid due to the source of heat that melts the rock. We know that core is a extremely hot layer. It can be from the core, isn't it? Or due to the rubbing of different layers. This molten rock gets mixed with dirt, gases, minerals and other rock as they flow, making a liquid. And this mixture is called magma. This magma is pushed upwards towards the surface of the earth by the pressure of the inside the earth. When this magma cools just below the surface of the earth and form a hard rock and this type of rock is called igneous rocks and this rock are also formed from the volcanic eruption when the magma is thrown out of the volcanic eruption and it is called as a lava this lava hardened to become as igneous rock let us study the types of igneous rocks there are two types of igneous rocks depending on whether the magma cools to form the rock when the magma cools sufficiently just inside the earth it forms a bed of a rock under the surface of the earth these igneous rocks which are formed inside the earth are called intrusive igneous rocks and the other type is sometime instantly slowly rising the magma gets out the earth during the volcanic eruption as lava as lava cools down faster forming igneous rocks with different properties to form the igneous rocks this formed on the above the surface of the earth are called extrusive igneous rocks these intrusive and extrusive rocks have different properties due to their different rates of cooling and the pressure under which they are formed and these igneous rocks are the oldest rocks on the earth surface here i have drawn the table of the two types of igneous rocks that is intrusive rocks and the extrusive rocks the different properties between them let us see what is the process of intrusive rocks that magma cools inside the earth then what is the process of extrusive rocks that the magma cools above the surface of the earth due to volcanic eruption let us see the rate of cooling in intrusive rock it is slow while in extrusive rock it is very fast let us see the size of crystal in intrusive rock it is large while in extrusive rock it is small let us see the example for intrusive rock that is granite and for the extrusive rock it is basalt this granite and the basalt is the two example for the igneous rocks let us see some characteristics of this granites basalt now let us see the second type of the rock that is sedimentary rock when water flows from the mountain to the sea the rocks breaken down into a tiny fragments and it is carried by the water and it also happened with the wind the wind break down the rock into tiny pieces and deposit them into the seas these fragments of rock sting to the bottom of the seas and form a layer of sediments and this process is continuously going on these sediments keep getting pressed into layers more and more layers and they later on turn as a rocks and these rocks are called as sedimentary rocks what is the meaning of sedimentary sitting these layers are sitting so they are formed as a rocks it refers to the process of tiny pieces of stones pebbles and sand sitting at the bottom of the sea to form rocks let us see the example of the sedimentary rocks first example is sandstone it is formed when small particles of sand get compressed and 
सीमेंटेड टुगेदर ऑन द लैंड और अंडर वाटर इट कैन बी ब्राउन पिंक रेड और येलो इन कलर दिस रॉक्स आर यूज इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाल किला इन दिल्ली इट इज मेड अप ऑफ सैंड स्टोन्स लेटेस्ट सी दि सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल दैट इज लैम स्टोन दिस लैम स्टोन इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम दि शेल्स एंड द स्केलीटन ऑफ दि टाइनी सी क्रिएचर्स दैट गेट बरीड इन दि सी बेड एंड गेट कंप्रेस टू फॉर्म रॉक्स इट इज वेरी सॉफ्ट स्टोन दिस लैम स्टोन इज यूज टू मेक सीमेंट एंड ग्लासेस Let us see the third type of rock that is metamorphic rocks. These rocks are formed from igneous or sedimentary rocks due to extreme heat and pressure inside the earth surface. The minerals content of some sedimentary and igneous rocks changes. The new rocks formed are called metamorphic rocks. The word metamorphics come from the word metamorphosis. which means change let us see the examples of the metamorphic rocks the first example is nice nice is formed from granites we can see different colored bands in this rocks due to the presence of different minerals and it is used to make floor tiles and kitchen counter tops the second example is marble marbles is formed from limestone which is sedimentary rock marbles is a strong rock and can be seen polished and it comes in different colors and it is used for the making floors in the house and monuments and this was a brief explanation of the types of rocks if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more notification thank you